How's it going everybody? This is RBT bringing you the introduction to my NCAA Football 14 Dynasty Series and you guys voted on what team you want me to play with and that ended up being the Florida Gators. So I'll bring you the introduction to it in this video and I'm going to explain a little bit what I'm going to be doing. I just tried to make this video and I screwed up so I'm going to loot this Dynasty and, and go through just creating it and showing you guys what I'm going to be doing in this Dynasty. Well, uh, to start it off, a lot of people wanted me to do a rebuilding dynasty, but then again, a lot of you voted on Florida. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off as the offensive coordinator at Florida since they're more of a contender. But I will play with them since I got all the votes and they won. But I'm going to be the offensive coordinator, and once I get a job offer to go to a smaller school as a head coach, I will jump ship and go there as head coach and try to rebuild that team. So you might get a year or two out of me at Florida, and then whatever school comes my way I will go there and try to rebuild that program and we all know Florida since they've had much champ as the head coach they needed a uh, a boost on offense the defense have been quite uh, quite fundamental and very good overall since he's been the head coach there but their offense really needs to boost so I'm going to try to change that uh, that perception of their offense under Will Mess champ and bring back the up-tempo type offense with my playbook that I've created in my offense that I run on NCA 14. Uh, let's see, hat type regular, just changing all this stuff on here. So it'll be a lot, uh, hopefully, a lot more productive, uh, productive offense in years past. And hopefully, I can help Florida compete for a championship, SEC and national championship. Alabama, matter, Alabama, obviously. Um, gonna make my have my own playbook that I've created. It's called the Air Fly offense, which is based off the Air Raid offense with the playbook of West Virginia but you can really if you want to throw the ball you can because there's a lot more uh, productive routes but I have learned you could run the ball very well with this playbook as well because I added a bunch of runs after I learned that so it's got even better so whatever's working for you I mean you can run a lot and you can throw a lot so uh, it's based off the pass off the air raid offense but you can do either one but it's a great playbook that I've created and it's really helped me a lot and I'm just going to keep it 340, it don't matter right now. That's what defense I usually run is the 340 defense, no matter where I am the head coach at or whatever. But let's continue and uh, let's change the rules and difficulties. Uh, generate auto names are already off. Um, gameplay options. It's on high spin. I'm not doing any changes to the, to the, uh, the what are they called sliders? I see. I know a lot of people change them to make it easier on themselves because Heisman is very, very tough on this game. But I don't do anything. I want to play at the highest difficulty on Heisman, and it's going to be tough. But hopefully, I can, I can win and want to disappoint you guys with this series. Uh, six minute quarters. You see, I, I don't change anything with custom AI or anything. And oh, something else I wanted to mention. One of the good things about being an offensive coordinator. This is really important. Um. I'll be able to do live commentaries as offensive coordinator because the games are a lot shorter and I'll make that very very easy on myself and make it a lot easier to upload more frequently because when I become head coach the games are a lot longer and I have to go back and edit out the video so I'll not be able to do a live commentary over that I just go back and commentate over the game after I edit the gameplay but as long as I'm doing live commentaries I mean as games as offensive coordinator I can do live commentaries and it'll be a lot easier for me to edit and upload so just put it into the timeline and that is it so let's begin the dynasty as the head coach of the Florida Gators and another reason I got confused I was recording the video before and I messed up the rosters I had loaded had Florida ranked four in the preseason on this uh, see that just kind of threw me off track and uh, I ended up accidentally clicking head coach and that screwed it all up I didn't want to keep doing that but see they ranked four here I don't know why in the world they were ranked and that other roster. The roster is actually better, but for some reason preseason rankings were screwed up. But I have the real name roster, everything in this roster, so it'll be it'll be fine. Uh, number ten, Florida. Hope you guys are going to enjoy this series, and I will let you guys interact with me whenever coaching carousel comes around and I get head coaching offers, and I'll let you pick what team I go to. Preferably a team that has not won a national championship, but hopefully I can bring Florida back to prominence and back to the national spotlight after that embarrassing loss against Louisville in the Sugar Bowl. And I'm really hoping with the personnel they have, I can run a up-tempo, high-scoring offense, along with that Will Muschamp, very, very good defense they have there at Florida. 
so um I can't do that because we must champ. Offensive coordinator Samuel Brown, that's my real name. I don't hope you guys won't be creeping on me or anything, but let's uh up tempo offense. I have one upgrade available. I'll do that and then exit. And another thing is as I'm the offensive coordinator, I'm really not gonna pay attention to recruiting. I know it would help me in the long run, but I'm not I'm probably not gonna be at Florida more than one or two years, so recruiting really shouldn't be a a big thing to me, but I will still do it. I'm not sure how much I will show you guys that I will do on recruiting. It will take up a long period of the video, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, yes, I would like to keep on changes. I will save in progress. I'm going to show you my schedule and go over my roster a little bit and uh, just redshirt players and just keep talking about Florida a little bit. Um, let's go over the schedule first and show you who I'm going to be playing this season. Uh, first game's at Toledo, or versus Toledo, which is a very, very tough team. That'll be a tough game. At Miami, we all know it's a tough game to play. Tennessee, Kentucky, Arkansas, three of the worst teams in the SEC. That should be three wins right there. LSU at LSU, tough game. Missouri's not too bad. Then that's a tough three-game stretch there. Georgia, Vandy, then at South Carolina, and then a, the always rivalry game at the end of the season versus Florida State. Have that game at home this season. And I hope you guys realize... I know you guys, you guys have played this game and realized how difficult it is. It's Heisman and this game in general is a lot harder. So I think Dynasty's, Dynasty series all over this game or on YouTube, uh, you're going to see people losing a lot. So if I lose, don't don't uh, don't be surprised because Heisman is very, very difficult. Um, let's go through my... I can guess I can take out two birds with one stone and show you my, my red shirts and I can show you my uh, my team at the same time. I will redshirt Max Staver, freshman 6'6", 235. So, um, redshirt him. We all know we have Jeff Driscoll. And we have the freshman running back that everybody talks about, Kelvin, Kelvin Taylor. We can see how good he is. Uh, Adam Lane, I'm not really sure if I should redshirt him because we only have four running backs. I guess I could go ahead and redshirt him. And if I need a running back, I can take his redshirt off. Um, Trey Burton, I'm keeping him. I will change my depth chart in just a little bit to show you where I'm going to use Trey Burton because we know he's a value aspect to this team and he can play a bunch of different positions. Um, a bunch of wide receivers that can rush out here. More than likely, I'm just going to rush out these two. Freshman down here, we all know the two good receivers Florida has Quentin Dunbar and Andrew DeBose. Tight ends, uh, Kent Taylor, Clay Burton, I'll just keep them unredshirted. Um, Trent Brown Jr., we we'll redshirt him. Nobody the red shirt there. Jonathan, Jonathan Harrison, 87 overall senior. Um, Octavius Jackson, can red shirt him. You know, Chaz Green, a really good right tackle. I'm looking at the defense a little bit. We can red shirt Jordan Sherritt. Sorry, he's got a text message. Um, right in, do not want to red shirt him. He's too good. Um, let's see if we can red shirt here. These freshmen, let's red shirt two of them. Alex Angelone, I've heard a lot of good things about him. He's a freshman, 81, but we have two linebackers above him, so we'll give him a red shirt. Maybe he could be a 90 overall player uh, eventually for my team, but I'm not sure how long I'll be here. That's, that's the thing. Right outside linebacker, Matt Rowland, um, let's give him the red shirt. I have plenty of linebackers, but I need uh, some people to play. Actually, I don't. Actually, I don't. Let's take a red shirt off of him. It's more important to keep on Alex and alone anyway. Vernon Hargraves, that's the guy everybody's been raving about, but have some guys ahead of him, so we will redshirt him as well. Um, two free safeties will redshirt Nick, Nick Washington. Strong safeties, uh, Canute Neal. Um, and that is about, that's about it actually. So... That is that, and I want, before I start the season, I want to show you some things I'm going to be doing with Trey Burton on the offensive side of the football. We all know Jeff Bush was the starter, but let's put Trey Burton just, just to have him there as the third string quarterback. Running back, um, Trey Burton should be, let's see, um, let's put him third string behind Kelvin Taylor. Fullback, Trey Burton should be the starter above that guy. Um, let's see, let's see if Trey Burton, what, he is overall, or 16 or 9, let's keep him, 
let's put him at six string just so he's there well, in case we need him. Solomon Patton, I remember him. He went to a high school right near where I live. Uh, let's put him at tight end as well. See, we're using up him in a bunch of different positions. So, see, we already have him in the top three of the depth chart on running back, QB, fullback, and tight end. And he's also on the, the 60 on wide receiver. Let, I wonder if he's how good he's a punt returner and whatnot. I bet he's not extremely fast, so yeah, he's probably way down here. Yeah, let's not use him as that. Let's use Andre DeBose as our punt returner. He's a 99 overall, so we can, yeah, we need to do that. Keep Turner. That's that's pretty good. Um. Hope you're not too bored here. I'm just trying to do the little introduction here and get this get this thing rolling. And one last thing I want to do and show you guys, I guess if you might find some interest to in this. And I'll set up my recruiting board, and that that'll probably take too long, so I'm not gonna show that. Uh, let's go to formation subs and in this offense I have a wildcat formation and we know the perfect guy to put in the wildcat formation that of course is going to be Trey Burton and he he is not that bad of a quarterback I looked at the stats earlier he's like 78 throw power 75 accuracy so definitely not a guy that will just cannot throw the ball whatsoever let's find um, Oh, actually, I'm not even sure if I have a wildcat formation in this playbook. I do not. Wow. Let's let's find a. Okay, I don't have a wildcat, but let's find a formation we can put him in the back. Um. Let's go with the shotgun spread. Well, I know what to do. Okay, shotgun spread, and we can put Trey Burton there, so we can run some read option with him. And let's find another formation uh, to put him at running back. Um, maybe, let's see, on the monster formation, we can put him at wide receiver so he can uh, catch some screens out of the formation. That's, that formation is primarily for screens. And one more formation to put him at running back. Uh, shotgun. Let's put him in. This would be a decent formation. Uh, there he is. So we have three formations that he's in on. He's in the goal line. Um, the Hulk formation. He's already at fullback. That's the formation that that I can use on the goal line or in short yard situations. This is a formation that Stanford uses an extra an extra uh, tackle and. Uh, and he's moving over to the right side with another fullback. So I mean another tight end. So there's two tight end sets and an extra lineman moving over to the strong side, which pretty much gives away where you run the ball unless you run a counter. But that's actually about it, guys. So that's it. I'm gonna go set up my recruiting board, then start this thing, and I will probably record the first game here in just a minute and get this uploaded more than likely tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you're going to be enjoying this series. Please leave a comment if you agree with my my uh, idea and are excited for my idea of doing the coaching carousel, where I I'm the office coordinator here at Florida, and then I move along to be a head coach at a smaller school to help rebuild that team. But my coach prestige should be up a little bit, so I should recruit a little bit better there as the head coach than I would just joining at automatically as the head coach. So. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you're excited for this series. Subscribe if you haven't so you do not miss any episodes of this series. So, catch you guys later. And as always, roll time, go socks, and go tight. I'll see you later.